everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the first video in a series called Hashtag Bride Bod. And basically what I'm going to be doing is every single month I'm going to sit down and chat with you guys about my progress in trying to get my version of a bride bod. So what a bride bod is to some people is going to be completely different than what it is to other people. For me, it's just feeling happy and confident in my body, to feel strong, to feel toned, and to just feel like I worked hard and I got my body somewhere that maybe it hadn't been before and I earned it because I worked hard for it, if that makes any sense. I think being engaged and knowing you're gonna get married is one of the best excuses in the world to get your body in good shape. And hopefully after the wedding, you're able to keep it up and you know you just develop good habits based on what you had to do for your wedding. I don't wanna be drastically smaller or lose an insane amount of weight. It's more just me trying to feel better about myself and to get my body in a good place. And having a reason to do that is my wedding. So these videos are going to be super informal. They're not going to have a lot of structure to them. It's basically me just sitting down, answering your guys' questions or chatting about what we may have chatted about in the comment section in my last video or over on Instagram and um, letting you guys know where my weight's at, how often I went to the gym, whether I stayed on track with my goals and all of that stuff. So hopefully this series is interesting to you guys, you find it helpful if you're trying to lose weight or get in shape for an event or just because you feel like it and you want to be in good shape. Uh, having someone who is not a fitness guru, who is not in the best shape right now, someone who's just real and trying to figure it all out with you guys, that's what these videos are all about. So I guess a good place to start with this video and to start with this series is to chat about my starting point and what my body is like now. I am 28 years old, I turned 28 in January, and I was a real late bloomer. My body really didn't start developing until I was about 23, I would say. I actually got my period super late. I got it on April Fool's Day when I was in the ninth grade. So I definitely was a late bloomer. I think I weighed about 120 pounds through undergrad or most of undergrad. I didn't ever gain that freshman 15 that other people gain. And that isn't because of a lack of trying. I ate like crap and drank a bunch. And really I just wasn't all that developed. I didn't have boobs, I didn't have a butt. I looked still like a kid, honestly. I look back at pictures. And I looked good, but I looked like a kid. So I didn't really start, you know, getting hips and having an ass and growing boobs until I was about 22, 23. And that's when I saw my body shift and when I saw my metabolism shift. And I actually gained about 20 pounds around that time. It was right near the start of law school. I've already filmed a video chatting about that. And I don't even remember what I said in that video, but I'm gonna link it for all of you guys. I will link it somewhere up here and I will also link it down below for you if you wanna go check that out. At the time when I gained that weight, I was super self-conscious and um, felt huge because I just wasn't used to my new body. Now I don't feel that way. Um, at the time I was heavier though. I weighed closer to 160 pounds, I believe. I was about 157, 158. I now weigh a pretty solid 150. And when I do gain weight, I gain basically all my weight in my ass and in my thighs and even in my calves, like just my leg in general. My fiance would hate it if I didn't tell you that I also gain weight in my feet because my feet are nice and chubby. So just basically my, from love handles down, that's where I gained the most of my weight. And I've already started to notice now when I was about 26, 27, I started noticing that I'm starting to gain a bit more weight in my arms. And I think I'm just starting to lose a bit of the natural shape that younger people have in their arms. Uh, so I weigh 150 and I am between five foot seven and five foot eight. So I'm a pretty tall girl. Uh, I'm not petite by any means. I am a size eight in clothing, generally. 
but usually the clothing I get or the dresses I get or whatever are too big for me up top and tighter at the bottom. So a size eight is a good middle ground. I'm more between a size eight and a 10 on bottom and a size six and an eight on top. My goal for the wedding is to be in and around the 143 mark, I'll say. I don't know that I'll ever get to 140. And the reason why I say that is I've worked out before and eaten really well before and I usually stick to around 150. I think my body just likes being there. It's its sweet spot and my metabolism enjoys being 150 pounds. So even when I gain muscle and lose fat, it always ends up balancing out to being about 150. And I think I'm really gonna have to push myself to even get into the low 140s. So what I would love to see when I hop on a scale on the morning of my wedding, JK, I am not actually gonna be weighing myself on the morning of my wedding, but leading up to my wedding, what I would love to be is about 143, 144. Five. It would be wonderful if I was, you know, more like 140, but I highly doubt that. And I wanna be realistic about what I think I'll actually weigh. I wanna lose a bit of weight. I wanna get rid of a lot of that excess fat that I have all over my body uh, and replace it with muscle. I don't want to have a six pack or have crazy defined arms or muscles. It's just not me. I'm never gonna be that into the gym to get that. But I wanna feel, I just wanna feel tight, you know? I wanna feel like, like substantial. I don't wanna feel flabby, like I just feel flabby now. So I wanna to get to the gym more. I do have a gym membership, and so uh, I would love to get to the gym or be working out three times a week. Currently, it's like if I don't go to the gym, I don't work out at all, and what I really wanna start doing is doing at-home workouts on the days where I just don't have time to go to the gym. I find when I go to the gym, I am like at bare minimum out of the house for at least an hour and a half. And that's a lot of time. It's a long time to be out. I just feel like once you get to the gym, do a bit of a warm up, do all your sets and your muscles and all that, and then maybe end off with a bit of cardio, which is what I really like to do. I'm in that gym working out for over an hour. It's a long time. I need to find out a way to become more efficient at the gym. I think I'd go a lot more often if I knew I could be there back within the hour. I figure maybe I can start doing more like at-home workouts, at-home video type stuff. I love the Tone It Up girls and I've got a bunch of their DVDs and uh, bikini series workouts. If you haven't heard of Tone It Up, they're a company, uh, two women run it and are the founders and they are both nutritionists, I believe they're nutritionists. Um, but they are also uh, like fitness gurus. And so they've got a whole whack load of free content on their YouTube channel, but they also sell more polished videos in either DVD format or just like MP3s you download on your computer. They're really, really good. They're usually pretty quick. They're super uh, effective. <laughs> That's the word. They're super effective. Uh, I've done them a lot and I really like them. Uh, but I like going to the gym too. I really like working out on exercise machines. Something about being in the gym makes me feel like I'm one of those Aussie fitness bloggers, you know, like for a second there, I've got blonde hair, crazy tan and look amazing just cause I'm there and I'm at the gym. I don't know what it is, but it's just being at the gym makes me feel better. So I wanna get there. I would love to get there four times a week. It's never gonna happen. But my goal is to get there at least twice a week and then to work out at home between one and two days a week for a grand total of three to four times a week. So that is my goal. That is what I want to start doing. As far as eating goes, my I actually eat pretty well at home. I cook uh, all right, I'm not a chef by any means. I've got, you know, my couple recipes I do well and uh, I'm always trying to learn new recipes all the time. And I like to eat healthy and I like to eat more whole foods and less processed, so I try my best. And I think when Jamie and I eat at home and I'm the one cooking, I eat pretty well. My problem is, is I skip meals a lot, especially earlier on in, in the day. And so then I get starving by the afternoon and we'll eat whatever is around. And that's when things start to get pretty messy. For example, I didn't eat this morning and then met Jamie for lunch at a pub and had a beer, a grilled cheese and a whole bunch of fries with gravy. 
So I'm really on the health track is where I'm on. I'm 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 healthy. I think that, you know, eating more regularly throughout the day, paying attention to my body, feeding my body more regularly throughout the day, and I also just love eating out. I love it. I love going to like get wings on a Tuesday night with a bucket of fries and a beer. I love going to, you know, anything from like low-end pub food to higher-end really nice restaurants. I just love going out to eat. It is one of my favorite things to do. But it's expensive and it's not doing my waistline any favors. So I'm going to really try to cut that back to cook more at home. And so by the next video, my goals, my goals for the next month are to work out between three to four days a week every single week. Goal number one <laughs> and goal number two to only eat out one to two times a week. Those are my goals for the month. What are your goals? What do you guys hope to do? Um, what do you want me to chat about in these videos? Do you want me to tell you what I'm doing when I'm at the gym or what exact workouts I'm doing when I'm working out at home? Do you want me to let you know what I'm eating, what recipes I like? I'm gonna start filming what I eat in a day videos, so that might help as well, but these videos are gonna be more sit down videos and updates on how much I weigh and how I did with the goals I had. I'm hoping these videos keep me accountable because I fall off the wagon a lot, like a lot. Like I do super well one week and then I just suck the week after. I think one of my biggest problems is that when I really get into fitness and really get into eating healthy, it's like all consuming. I'm on Instagram accounts, Snapchats, YouTube channels, Pinterest, I'm meal prepping and planning and it takes up so much of my energy that I don't really know how to be healthy if not full on. So that's what I'm really going to try to work on in the next couple months is being healthy but having a balance and not having to be obsessive about it in order to be healthy. Uh, so yeah, that's, th that's where kind of I'm at. That's my weight. That's what's going on right now. And, uh, I guess I now need to go figure out what to make for dinner and maybe work out because it's Thursday and I haven't worked out once. So I'm really on track for doing three to four workouts this week. That's it with this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know what you want me to be chatting about in upcoming videos. And I will see you all in next week's video, which will be finally the reveal of what I paint this dresser. If you guys want to know, that video will be up on Monday and a tour of the room I'm in currently will be up on Thursday of next week. So hit that subscribe button, uh, follow along with me, go check me out on Instagram. It would mean the world to me if you kind of join my little family here on YouTube and on Instagram. And with that, I will see you all in the next video. Bye.